with the technique, with the uh, R hand and arm work. So the next part, again, I'm not inventing anything here and you can uh, see this in a million places. Um, the most important thing is to be on the other side of the net and being high is not an advantage generally, but the cutting the, uh, cutting the angle uh, is the most, uh, the most important part, the angle, reducing the available angles for the spiker. I'm really big on the hands being, uh, being straight over the net. Um, there are some situations for outside blockers where we can, uh, we can do some different things with our hands in different situations, but for middles, I'm, I'm really strong on them putting, having their right hand in front of the right shoulder, left hand in front of the left shoulder. It turns out that that's actually an incredibly difficult thing to do um, because I don't know exactly why. I think perhaps because a lot of coaches want uh, blockers to sweep their hands in one direction um, or to push to the middle of the court or other things. Um, I am not one of those coaches. I want the hands to be straight over the net and also basically wherever the blocker ends up being. So in this case, Trent O'Day, he's late, he doesn't um, make the position, but he forms a good block, good individual block wherever he is. And if you do that, you make the spiker have to make a play. My object in blocking is always that I, if the ball touches the blocker, then it goes to my team's advantage in some manner. Uh, and just to be clear, uh, it's not that Trent O'Day is the one who's always late, but it's the one who, when he is late, has the best form. 